I want you to take a look at the ice that is left behind on this home following a fire here this morning. Fighting a fire is a dangerous job for firefighters, but fighting one in these bitterly cold temperatures is even a bigger issue. A fast moving fire tearing through this vacant two story duplex along Welsh Avenue. The call 3 a.m. The temperature outside below 10 degrees. Factor in the wind chill and it feels 10 below zero. What can I say about the weather? It's bitter. Uh, everything's freezing up ladders, hose, streets, sidewalks. We had about uh, I don't know, about a dozen people get on. Uh, no serious injuries, a couple bumps and bruises. From falling on ice to being covered in ice, fighting intense flames throughout the building caused another danger. Due to the extreme temperatures, the guys sometimes don't realize that they're, you know, being frostbitten or, you know, because they're so focused on their operations. So it's important that, you know, they take rest and get in the warming shelters. That's where the Salvation Army comes into play. The organization set up a warming tent to keep firefighters hydrated and warm. We were in Duquesne uh, earlier for this, uh, before this fire came in, and they also had a uh, fire out in Jefferson, which another unit took care of. So we, we've been a busy, busy tonight, especially with the cold. Firefighters say when they got to this house, it was fully involved, so they immediately bumped it to a second alarm. Bringing in additional manpower allowed crews to not only fight the fire, but stay safer. We went real heavy on our first alarm, uh, additional companies because of the weather. And uh, so we try to keep everybody cycling through, staying warm, uh, not expose the elements longer than they have to be. As for what caused the fire, that remains under investigation. But as you can see, the house is a total loss. Reporting in Wilmerding, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank